This is the thickest knife you have ever seen. This knife is made out of 2 cm or almost 1 inch thick A2 steel. Boom. <laughs> it destroys it. <laughs> I, I was skeptical actually, but damn. In this video, we're gonna push this knife to its absolute limits. But the craziest thing of all is that this is still functional. Okay, this is a goddamn X. No shit. Slow mo, roll the slow mo. You just you cut a tree in half. <laughs> The whole story of this knife is that a custom knife maker called Dulo made this knife. He made it after seeing our Midgard Massa video, which was then a ridiculously big knife. The biggest we'd ever seen, but this one trumps all that and is twice as big at least, whilst still being pretty quote unquote functional. How much can this knife take? This episode is sponsored by Tools for Gents, where you can buy knives and uh, stuff for Gents. Go to their website? Oh yeah. And cool. buy stuff? Buy stuff. Go to toolsforgents.com for the real gentleman. <laughs> if that isn't the thickest piece of wood that we ever betoned, it is the thickest piece what of wood we that we ever chopped. It? This is a really crazy piece. This is gonna be the I don't even know how I... Toughest piece of wood that we have ever betoned by far. What, don't you think, yeah, Martin? Look, yeah, I mean look at this grain, it's a circle. The knife is so much heavier than this baton. It feels like I'm working it with a toothpick, man. <laughs> oh no! Oh, that is so fucking. <laughs> I know. Why, why do I always fall in this shot? <laughs> Oh, you didn't oh. hear it, but it sounded like the knife broke. It sounded so loud, but the knife has nothing. And we just split the craziest piece of wood yeah. that we've ever split. I, I literally had to whack it a few times with all my power, with, with a bloody hammer. <laughs> Holy shit, eh? So these last few tests, they were more fun to see what, what this knife can do. But now we're gonna see if this knife is also fit for some more practical use. Even though it has the weight, you do notice that it doesn't really want to cut deep into the tree, which is like a downside for chopping, but hey, what do you expect? Do you think it's time for a karate kick? No. Like a, spin, a spinning karate kick. <sighs> Seems like talking ain't working. That's why you gotta feel my son. <laughs> I love you. Face your destiny, son. <laughs> Where'd you go? Where did you go? <laughs> Cut the coin. <laughs> Nani! The tree! Literally, Literally everything fell! <laughs> Some might be wondering how sharp this knife came, or even can be. Well, before we did everything you saw up to now, we tested that sharpness and it surprised us big time. Does it shave? It shaves. Oh shit. Oh shit. shit. Uh, oh, oh hey. It can cut, it can cut paper. paper. That is unbelievable. That, that is really impressive. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, that's right. But even the sharpness skill was amazing. Everything under 400, I, I think, is impressive for this thickness. Yeah, I think so too. Oh! It was impressive! 
Yeah, it's impressive. <laughs> impressive. That's actually sharper than than most knives that people use. Yeah. Now let's make some delicious food. Soup. So first, I need to start off with a stick that fits into this hole. One thing's for sure, and that is that you need a good amount of training to handle this knife. Jeez. Okay, so proven that it can do it. But I want a straight surface, so we're gonna grab out the sole. Fun fact, you can buy these soles in our web shop. Oh my god! We only have about one hour of light remaining, so time is of the essence. So we're gonna use DBK Fatwood. But when it comes to precision tasks like you know, making notches, whatever, that is, of course, where this knife is gonna be terrible. I mean, even handling it, you're just handling a weight yeah. of two and a half kilograms or something. Yeah. And that's the thing, this is not a knife that you would use, this is a knife that is just crazy and fun to have. But can it feather stick? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so it is hard to control, but it is sharp enough to make feather sticks. So as you can see, even though it is harder, this is a, it is doable to make a feather stick that you could actually very easily light. I mean, this is a fine feather stick. You can light this with a fire steel. Oh, Whoa, I, thought this was, <laughs> I thought this would be really bad. Wait. Yeah. Again. Oh my God, what would you give it? <laughs> this is definitely like an eight out of 10. Oh my god! I thought you had a phone. Phone! Oh. Martin! You're lucky! You're doing this in there, okay? A delicious meal made with pure love. Okay, I think it's done. Nice. I think it's done. It's hot. It's piping hot. And Mickey, people may say, may think, hey, this is simple soup, but if you're filming in the in the rain and cold the whole day, <sighs> this is it's just godly. Soup. This is godly. It is it. Look at him. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is so good. It's like a, like, like, you, like a tramp gets his first meal in the week. Yeah, well, Mart, I, cannot, <laughs> I cannot explain how good this feels because I, I've been standing in the cold all day. This is so nice and warm. The, the fun thing is I was doing the, the work, but maybe it's, more, it's even more miserable just holding the camera because mm -hmm. you don't, don't get warm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I've worked so hard. <laughs> Mickey the knife, what a beast. What a bloody beast. I think we can go to the conclusion now because you know, there's not much to say about it, but only good stuff, I think. <laughs> Jeez, I'm wet. I'm wet, I'm wet boy. Ladies and gentlemen, what a thick knife, but also what a thick giveaway. <laughs> it's winter, so we need some cold weather knives in here, Mickey. It's a Felgneven Modern Bowie, thanks to DBK. It's a Felgneven F1 Pro LMAX, thanks to DBK. It's a Felgneven S1X, thanks to Blade HQ. It's a Becker BK72, thanks to Knives and Tools. It's two Duke Duke of Fuhrer Fixed and two Fixed Razors, thanks to Tools for Gents. That, that's uh, over 2000, I think. Damn! Mickey, first biggest surprise that is that this knife was still sharp. Yeah. Being so thick. This is the thickest knife that I have ever seen. And this is stupidly thick, actually. Yeah, and you know, it still, even though it is bulky, it still holds well for a knife this thick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 
I want to really want to thank Dulo, Dulo Knives, yeah. because he made this knife uh, on my request. I asked by him hand. to, yeah, by hand. I asked him to make the thickest knife. I didn't ask for steel, and this crazy boss just poured A2 steel in this. Yeah, yeah, which definitely wasn't a cheap project. Okay. This knife is a beast. It destroys everything. You, you yeah. saw the piece of wood that we chopped. And yeah, this is not a knife that you buy for practical use or that you buy for bushcraft. <laughs> this is a knife that you would buy as a prestige thing or just as a fun thing if you already have a knife collection. I mean, this but is actually looking up the limits of how thick a knife can be and going way beyond that because yeah. the Midgard mess that was, was already, actually already yeah. too thick. But compared to this, that actually seems like a reasonable thick knife. Yeah, but the crazy thing is he made it in a way that it still functions as a knife. From yeah. the side, you don't, wouldn't even say it's that thick. No. And the crazy thing, he made a perfectly good and capable sheath that is just a really good sheath. Just I just know that a farmer somewhere <laughs> in the Netherlands is missing all his cows right now. <laughs> In material cost only, I think this knife was around 300 euros to make. That's material cost only. Yeah. That's, I don't know what this knife would cost uh, on the market if you would order one, but I don't think that he would be very happy if you ordered this knife. No, no, no. Check out Dula knives because this knife maker is crazy. He actually grabs knives and puts them on steroids. Thank yeah. you very much for watching. I hope you like this video. Check us out every Friday. Uh, Friday. Friday. Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> Won't be in PDT for hey, like the last 10 years. Tell us what what knife you'd like us to review. Yeah. And uh, we'll we'll look into it. Check out the web shop, check out Tools of Gents, check out everything in the links. Hey, actually we're looking for custom knife makers who are really good and make very nice looking knives yeah. and stuff. So tell us any recommendations. Bye. Bye. And the winners of the December giveaway are Michael John and Zachary Powers. Give them a uh, welcome and a thank you for the support. Yeah. Thank you.